here we go so let's have a look experts concern for public safety as flying robotic machines are taken up by criminals okay so there's the police and they look uh, they got it they've got their own drone up on the go there obviously they don't care about the buildings being close or people or anything but uh, police are having to investigate a fourfold rise in the number of crime reports involving shop bought drones I'm just going to skip through this a little tiny bit because I want to get down to the uh, the figures were obtained from freedom of information requests with 21 of the UK's 45 police forces responding so they asked for freedom of information uh, they put in requests for freedom of information from 45 police forces and only 21 responded I don't know what that says to me. I don't know what it says to you. But it's funny, isn't it, that less than half respond. The number of all also includes drones, reports of drones endangering commercial airliners, of them causing flights between of them causing fights between neighbours. Now I've looked up fights um drone causes fight between neighbours on Google and other search engines and I can't find anything. Also, a lot, a lot of them being used by local, by uh, criminal gangs, to transport drugs often into prison. Now, I have seen some of these reports, and I have um, heard that some drones have actually been sighted, and drugs have been dropped over prison fences and walls. The majority of the reports, 257, were listed as concern for public safety, and under suspicious circumstances but five cases involved acts of violence 13 related to burglary 14 to dangers posed to transport I, I don't understand the acts of violence maybe you're chasing somebody around with a drone using it to dive bomb people i'm not sure but i've never seen anything like that on the news or you know just its own report and seven made reference to drones in the vicinity of young children well, you know, I mean, that that's very open, isn't it? Because if you're flying in the park, in a quiet area of the park, hey, vicinity of young children, possibly. Um, one remarkable incident recorded by the police service in Northern Ireland in June last year revealed a drone allegedly being used to film cash point, film a cash point in Temple Patrick as people entered their pin codes. Hmm. The witness told the police that when the drone was spotted, it flew off and crashed into a taxi. The police said a male suspect had had been forced to pay compensation to the taxi driver, but officers had been unable to prove the footage had been taken with criminal intent. So, you know, just just, just to give it a little bit of a, a situation here. So there's somebody, you know, in the middle of the street or wherever, he's trying to fly a drone and somebody down the street is using a cash point. Uh, maybe they're just automatically assuming, oh, they're trying to get my number, they're trying to get my number. Now, we all know, unless it's going to be something with a real good camera and pretty dumb good zoom on it or something, you're not going to be able to get these numbers. And if the police didn't find anything to be able to... Um, prove the footage had been taken with criminal intent that means there was no recording of you know th this actually going for pin numbers so, so this whole thing here uh, one remarkable incident recorded is just BS I'm sorry but you can't just say because somebody was down the road we're gonna tie it to something of an imagination um, drones quadcopters and multi-rotor helicopters already equipped with 360 degree 4k cameras uh, more than twice the quality HD are currently available to buy without registration okay they say the potential speed 70 mile an hour um, and altitudes of 10,000 feet <laughs> so we got some numbers there this is note is projected it's not actually a, a real figure it's a projected figure Sexual offences in involving a drone were reported in both London and South Wales, with the Metropolitan Police referring to case of voyeurism. And the Welsh force revealed a drone had been used to record footage of a young woman undressed in her apartment. Well, 
Okay, I'm not even going to comment on it. In Leicester, a pedestrian claimed to have seen a drone flying from the sky. While in Sutton Coalfield, another fell and damaged the roof of a BMW. So, on that, I'm just going to go to the, uh, the, the main meat of this video. So, I was going to take you through the pedo drone fears. Perverts using drones to spy on playgrounds. Big letters, look. And capture sick footage of innocent kids. Now, if you go through this, I'll put, I'm going to put all the all these um, all these uh, newspaper reports in the description because if you go through it, you'll find out that that's just a load of rubbish. This is just to sell the paper and to condition the human brain in the UK that drones are used by perverts and they're spying on kids. Uh, but this is this is when they talk about um, capture sick footage of innocent kids. Now they're talking about a drone that was seen um, around about where a house was, but possibly near a school. And I would like to know what sick things the kids were doing in the playground for that footage to be, as in the paper's own words, sick footage of innocent kids. I'd like to know what sick things were happening. Of course, today, sick has two different meanings, doesn't it? Sick used to be a bad thing, and now it seems with the younger generation, it's a good thing. Oh, look at that, that's sick. And that's a, a good thing, apparently. So I don't know. I don't know if they're just playing with words here. But then there was a uh, free minute for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, this is the crux of This is the meat of it. Seven ways to prevent drones infringing on, on your privacy. Now, remember about drones that fall out of the sky. Um, uh, unless uh, a pedestrian claimed to have seen a drone falling from the sky and another drone had fell and it damaged the BMW. Now check this out. Drones pose a serious risk to security and privacy. Here's how you can block drones and stop them from flying over your house. By Georgina Torbett, April 7th, 2020. Okay, a lot of people are hyped about drones these days, and while it is true drones are set to transform the future in amazing ways, we can't forget that drones pose a serious risk to security and privacy. Okay, so let's get past this bit and get to the anti drone drones. Excuse me. Uh, so in 2015, Malu Tech gave their first demonstration of an anti drone drone, a bigger badder drone equipped with a huge net meant for capturing and disabling smaller drones. It could be an effective method, but in a lot of cases, something more subtle is needed. Now, of course, if they do just take hold of a drone, that's probably theft, a criminal charge. Also, they're interfering with the operation of a drone, which is a, I believe it's a criminal offence. Even if it's not, it would be something that would jeopardise the safety of everybody around the drone because it could cause the drone to malfunction it could cause the drone to fall from the sky so um, let's just go to the next one anti-bird drones drones intercepting drones may be practical but if you're the kind of person who wants to kick it up a few notches then you'll probably want to look into anti-bird anti-drone birds specifically eagles that have been trained to tackle drones out of the sky. In fact, some of these boat birds are even able to snatch drones and carry them all the way back to their trainers. And in case you are worried whether the process har processes in harm to the birds, if you're worried whether this process is harmful to the birds, rest assured it's not. The birds are intelligent enough to pull it off without so much as clipping a talent. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? That you're going to have a hexicopter, octocopter, uh, just a multi-rotor, possibly spinning around carbon fiber blades, and you're willing to risk a majestic eagle to go and see if it can tackle this thing out of the sky. Again, this could disrupt the, the flight of this craft, and this craft could come tumbling down to the ground, and we have no idea who or what may be below it. So, so far, two pretty stupid ideas, okay? Anti-drone jammers, which in the UK actually are illegal to use. 
unless you're like an airport or something and you've got special clearances for these things but let's just get into it if you need a method that's even more subtle than physical in interception there are ways to jam a drone signal okay so again jamming, jamming a drone signal will cause it to be um, non-controlled and again it could bring that drone down in a non-controlled way possibly hurting somebody or damaging property it is an offense to do these things it is an offense don't you know don't be thinking that this this report is a very good way of um, dealing with drones and just to uh, you might want to look this up but let me just tell you this the airspace above your field your house or anything like that is not yours you didn't buy that you bought the bricks and mortar you didn't buy the ground below you didn't buy the airspace above you bought the bricks and mortar you can't own the land because the land belongs to the state if it didn't you wouldn't be able to call it the country and everyone would be able to have their own sovereign states inside the country and that just would not do would it so so to try and suggest that using a jammer to bring these things down is a really silly idea now let's get on to the next one for if you need a more portable option option you can look at the drone defender this is an an accurate anti-drone rifle now again they're talking about shooting things out of the air you know, um, even if it's just using jammers, you're going to force this drone to be non-controlled and possibly cause harm to human, animals and or property. These are not very good suggestions at all. Uh, so, yeah, don't think, uh, don't even think about buying one of these until you've made sure that you won't be arrested for it. Yes, that's what I would say as well, because they are illegal to use now there are some jammers that you can buy that are legal to own but you're not allowed to use them there's a lot of things you'll find in the uk that you can buy but you're not allowed to cultivate or you're not allowed to use but you can buy them you can buy a sword but you're not allowed to go and use it you understand what i'm saying drone blinding lasers oh my life here we go anti-drone lasers are the kind of anti-drone jammers except instead of interfering with the drone's control signals they can interfere with the camera okay let's just like tap this one for the ridiculous thought that it is can you imagine trying to shine a laser at something let's say it's 200 feet in the air and you've got to hit something the size less than an inch squared right have you ever tried taking a photo or filming a bird high up in the sky and keeping track of it? Now, can you imagine if you were just trying to keep track of its eyeball and you've got to pin a laser onto it? Don't get me wrong. If you can do this, I think there is a, a, a career for you, but not doing this. If you can pinpoint a moving object within a square inch with a laser, there is a career for you. Maybe you should contact me and I can talk to you about those careers that you could have if you've got the capability of doing these things. All right, because if you have, you're very special. Right, so, yeah, so they get into, you know, the, the, the cameras. Except instead of interfering with the drone's cameras, uh, control signals, they interfere with the camera. Again, causing an issue for the controller, for the operator of the drone, uh, which could possibly put the drone into an uncontrolled flight situation, which of course could then end up, end up having it fall from the sky, possibly hit people, animals, or and or property. Another ridiculously silly idea. So for a few seconds, everything becomes really bright and white. Yeah, they're just going on about that. Uh, be careful, it's not exactly legal to shine lasers into the sky and you might accidentally blind an airplane, airline pilot. So again, you can see how this, uh, this very thought and the very idea of the writing of this is just ridiculous. Obviously, it seems to me that this particular paper, who is it? This is uh, makeuseof.com, has nothing better to do than just make stuff up. So what we got here, drone detection systems. Back in 2003, a group of engineers, control, computer scientists, started a crowdfunding campaign called uh, 
uh, drone shield powered by the Raspberry Pi Corp. Uh, it was able to detect a present of drones but with a microphone that could pick up frequencies humans can't hear. Once possessed, the signal will be compared against the database, separate everyday noises, blah, blah, blah. Now that just seems to be nah. Oh, this particular project was benched. All right, we don't need to go any further with that because, um, yeah, nah. You, if you're going to get into that and you're going to try and filter out every single other frequency for particular ones you're, you're listening for, now you've got to remember, none of these things sound the same. I've got different multi-rotors and I've got a wing and I've got an aeroplane. They all are reasonable, you know, reasonable, because I know that they're mine, but they sound different. But you're going to try and have something that's going to pick out these different frequencies uh, against everything else. Hmm. In theory, maybe. One important thing to know about drones is they'll never be 100% impervious to attacks, much in the same way as computers and mobile devices. Devices will never be completely protected. Keep in mind if you ever plan on buying a drone of your own. So this is trying to exploit weaknesses maybe in the, um, in the control side of the drone. Again, rendering the drone to be basically a fast-bladed spinning missile with kinetic energy from whatever it height and weight it's got where it's going to fall very dangerous very dangerous indeed i think the guidelines say things like this do not interrupt a drone operator while they are flying the drone okay do not interrupt the drone while it is being flown by the operator and there's very good reasons for that because if you do any of those two things you make it a ruddy dangerous, a possibility of being a ruddy dangerous situation. These are not the things that you do. Uh, okay, so uh, the thing is, a kind of weakness can always be exploited. We should prove when security research demonstrate the hacking of a £35,000 drone from up to one mile away. Mm, very good. Very good. But all of these things are not going to give you any entitlement or any legal standing or any real practical ways of stopping a drone from flying across the top of your house with that i'm not going to go into the drone surveillance laws okay oh come on let's have a quick look if all else fails the last thing you can do is push for laws to protect the privacy of citizens against drones Ever since the drone craze really took off back in 2013 and some have been passed into law but we still have a long way to go. That's right, there are things um, already in law, there are guidelines already there and none of them, not one of them suggests that you should take control of the drone or make the drone uncontrollable or do any of the ridiculous things that have been put forward in this article. It is stupid on the face of it and it shouldn't be done. But there you go, this is where people have got nothing better to do than just write things from their imagination and try and put it out to you guys as uh, clever ideas. You got this far? Thank you very much. And I will catch you in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Speak to you soon.